By now, you've probably heard that tonight is the strawberry moon. Well, any full moon in June is a strawberry moon, but tonight's strawberry moon is exceedingly rare because it corresponds with the summer solstice. When we visited the Milwaukee Astronomical Society's observatory, we hoped we'd find a bunch of astronomy geeks showing up with packed snacks to peer through the telescopes hidden in gleaming white domes at an astronomical rarity. We didn't. We found observatory director Paul Borchard, who wasn't exactly doing an astronomic bunny hop. It just hasn't happened now in nearly 70 years that the solstice and the full moon have been on the same day of the calendar. Turns out full moons, solstice or not, are a crummy time to look at the orb of night. It's a washed out moon. There's not much craters to look at or mountains. It's, um, it's a big light polluter. It stops us from seeing other things in the sky. Okay, if astronomers don't get excited about the full moon occurring at the same time as the summer solstice, witches sure do. Oh, you knew I had to talk to some witches, right? Chris Jansen and Chris Jansen, they spell their first names differently, are West Dallas witches. Any full moon is a time of tremendous power and energy, and that's an energy that a lot of people like to work with and take advantage of. And you don't have to be a witch to take advantage. Most people that like to do stuff that aren't in a formal coven or a formal initiation group will take and write down something they want to get rid of in their life or something they want to bring in and then they'll burn it under the full moon. And Chris with a K suggested that tonight might be a good night to write down your desire, say to quit smoking and then burn it by the light of the strawberry moon. <laughs> you did a good job with that story. Hey, you got witches and an astronomer in one story. You got the night's <laughs> made. <laughs> well, it's finally dark outside. Let's get